We have a 1.9 liter Saturn. We're gonna go through the steps in replacing the water pump. Before performing a cooling system repair, it's recommended to flush the cooling system prior to installing any new parts. With the cooling system flushed and drained, we'll disconnect the negative battery cable before beginning the repair. With the vehicle properly supported, remove the right front tire and splash shield. Before starting your repair, you always want to be sure you're working with a cool engine. Loosen the water pump pulley bolts. Remove and inspect the drive belt, making sure it's not damaged in any way that would hinder its reuse. Finish removing the water pump pulley and lay back out of the way. Remove the six water pump retaining bolts and remove the pump from the vehicle. Keep in mind there may be some residual coolant. Be sure and capture and dispose of properly. Thoroughly clean the water pump gasket surface, making sure to not allow any debris into the water jacket area. Use a very small amount of gasket sealer to hold the gasket in place for ease of installation. Install the water pump, torquing the bolts to 22 foot-pounds using a crisscross pattern. Install the water pump pulley and hand tighten the bolt. We'll torque these to spec after installing the drive belt. With the drive belt installed, torque the water pump pulley bolts to 19 foot-pounds. Reinstall the splash shield and the right front tire. Fill the system with a 50-50 blend of coolant and distilled water. It's a good idea to test your pressure cap. A faulty pressure cap can lead to an inefficient cooling system. If you do not have access to a pressure tester, these are available at your local parts store. With the repair complete, reattach the negative battery cable. Start the vehicle and turn the cabin heater on high. This will help bleed the air out of the system. Allow the engine to reach operating temperature and check for leaks. Shut the engine off and allow it to cool completely. Top the recovery tank off to manufacturer specs.